Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Sick MRI. And this is a 53-year-old female who complains of low back pain and shooting pain down her right leg and hip. And on this view, we see that she has nice normal intervertebral discs at all levels except for one down here at the very bottom, L5S1. This disc is degenerated, it's irregular. And I put a mark on some little round thing there. So if we go to the midline, things look okay. If we go to the left, we see the left S1 nerve, sciatic nerve coming down here. If we go off to the right side, we're going to look for that sciatic nerve right here. So we see the sciatic nerve, and there's something else right next to it, a little round thing. It looks like a pebble. So now we're going to go to another view to try to troubleshoot. We're going to go to our sagittal T2 weighted images. Now in this view, we see the bad disc there. And if we go off towards the right-hand side, we see that little round area. It looks like a little marble, and it's touching this right S1 nerve, the sciatic nerve, and it's right there. Now we're going to put up another view here. These are axial images going down. We see the arrows pointing to the structure. Here's a central disc protrusion. This is fluid in the spinal canal. Here's the right S1 nerve, left S1 nerve. As we go down, whoops, wrong direction, down right to it, we see this little structure right there. There's the S1 nerve. And there it is right there. So the S1 nerve is over here getting displaced outward in this lateral recess. Here's the left lateral recess, the S1 nerve, right lateral recess. It looks like it has two nerves, but actually this is a small disc extrusion. And this looks like it is separate from this central disc protrusion. So when we see a, a disc fragment that's away or separated or separate from the main protrusion, we call it a sequestered disc fragment. And these disc fragments sometimes can be missed when they do surgery. They go in there, and they'll take out the central disc herniation, but they don't know to go down and look further away with, with some, for something that is not contiguous. So it's really critical to say, hey, not only is there a central disc herniation, there's a small sequestered disc fragment, a free disc fragment they need to go down there and find to relieve their symptoms. And that's it. Thank you very much.